so much, Madam Toastmaster Go Fang. Online and in person fellow Toastmasters, guests, pleasant afternoon to all. My speech is entitled, My Father's Legacy. Every time we come to know a baby boy is born inside the family, we always hear people would say, this boy would bear his father's name. A lot of male children would be given the same name as their father's given name. Some of them bear their grandfathers, four four grandfathers, even their grandfathers in the early fourth or fifth generation, so to say. Some of them were called Baby John Smith Jr. or Baby John Smith the first, second, third, so on and so forth. In my case, I was given a unique name from my father's given name. My father's name was Johnny A. Kidai. Out of my father's creativity, I was named Jack Franco Sikidai. Jack came from my father's initials, which are J-A-Q, from Johnny A. Kidai. And Franco came from his favorite actor's name, Franco Nero, who is a legendary <coughs> actor, producer, and director up to present. I was just thinking that names are just combinations of letters, but came to my realization that names carry fame. They are not just given letters. They can be part of one's character. A name is like an elongated shadow attached at our hills. Mavis Himes wrote in his new book, The Power of Names. How do our names impact our lives? The fact that our names are given by others external to the self at first moment and interiorize at second moment come to a realization a certain implications claims Himes, who is a clinical psychologist and psychoanalyst in Toronto. Our name is like a gift or a curse. Initially defines us in relationship to those who have given us. For me, for example, it's a gift because it's a worldwide known name, Jack, manifested in the movie Titanic. Jack and Rose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also anticipating that it's also a curse. Because if, what if an instance, a long lost friend met me inside the plane who is ex enthusiastically excited and greeted me, Hi Jack! <laughs> it, it has a rebellious connotation. I don't want to be involved in or become an accomplice to this crime. <laughs> so how is our name bound up with our faith? Does it in some ways direct our future or contain something of our essence? Nomenclature seemed ironically predictive to the fate of former American politician Anthony Weiner. In subtle and unconscious ways, did his appellation lead to his sexting scandals where he shared sexually explicit photographs of himself with followers by his public Twitter account. A Roman proverb, nomen est omen, the name is identity, a common belief in ancient Western world. Yet, there's a name given to us, and there's what we make of it. <coughs> Erickson Humberger, a psychologist who defined identity as one of the eight stages of psychosocial development, 
reinvented himself in adulthood as Erickson in honor of his unknown biological father as he gained his United States citizenship. Each of us makes or remakes the meaning we attach to our names, imputing it with our own personal interpretation and private associations. The meaning of the names is not glued to it. In countries like China or Vietnam, before parents would give a name to their children, they need to go to their, they need to need to see a fortune teller in, and present the list of names for these fortune tellers to choose the best <coughs> and luckiest name they can give to their unborn child. There are instances wherein the names doesn't give them luck they can change their names and they can renew, renew their baptism. The names or their names have its meaning all the time. So I am very thankful to my dad who has given me his initials that become part, became part of my name and has brought me to where I am now. I believe that you have your own legacy that can change your life and lead you to success. And there's a biblical phrase, it says there in Proverbs chapter 22, verse one, name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Therefore, make the best choice of name now rather than regret later. Thank you so much, everyone. Back to you, Madam.